It's UMIROCAL, it stands for Modifying Immune Responses and Outcomes in ALS. And the notion goes back to work uh, really originating from Dr. Stanley Appel in Houston, um, where he observed that there was a relationship between uh, the number of regulatory T cells, T regs, and survival, uh, such that if you had uh, that if you had more circulating T regs uh, in ALS uh, early on, you, you tended to survive and survive longer. And that was quite a big effect in terms of relative risk. Um, and that went back to uh, his interest in immune responses in ALS. Um, and there are other, uh, there were other papers that supported that notion uh, broadly. And so we knew, uh, we all knew that, uh, Tregs are very dependent upon interleukin two. Um, interleukin two has been used in cancer at high dosage when it's very toxic, but at low dosage it boosts the number of circulating regulatory T cells, Tregs, and the notion then is that this will, uh, through crosstalk with the central nervous system, may have an impact on microglial cells and pushing them, if you like, towards a more cy cytoprotective phenotype than a cytopathic one. And again, a lot of background evidence to support that, but no direct evidence of the efficacy of low-dose interleukin-2 in, in, in ALS. And that's what we set out to do. So it's a double-blind, randomized, controlled trial of low-dose interleukin-2 in patients with ALS. I'd love to tell you the result, but I can't because we don't have it. COVID has slowed us up. We're nearly there, but obviously we will, we will publish that in the appropriate ways. Um, so at the moment, the trial is finished in terms of patient participation. Uh, we are cleaning and checking the data prior to database lock.